Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, we're gonna just do a really quick um, craft together today. Um, I think if you guys um, look at my social media, you know I love snippet tape or snippet rolls and things, and there's lots of different ways to make it, and I've done some videos on this before, but I was using up some of the pieces that I printed um, from Sylvia at Las Mimas Amores and thought, well, you know, I haven't made any shabby chic style kind of snippet tape and I and I, I want to. So um, I am on her design team and two of, there were several kits for August, but the two that I used some pieces from in this project, the two kits are Faded August and then For a Roses. So those will be linked for you in the description if you're interested. But what I did with both of those kits is I actually printed a few of the pages um, at a reduced size. So instead of doing like the full image, I think I did these at like five by three um, or four by six, something like that, just to get little tiny images um, on some of these tickets and things at just a smaller size. Um, and I've been making other things with them. And then I've also just torn up some of the pages um, that I had scraps left of. So anyway, it's been a fun project and added some lace and some ribbons and things. So we're gonna make a strip together. A lot of times when I make these, I use um, washi tape. I find running washi tape through my sewing machine works okay and it doesn't gunk it up too much. But sometimes I just use um, the off, cuts the strips so like when you have a digit if you use digital paper like I do and you have these white strips um, and again in an effort to use what we have right um, a lot of times I'll just use a strip like this so this is 11 inches long I like my snippets to be at least 12 inches and when I use a backing that is 11 inches and then it hangs over I end up with this is like right at the 13 inch strip so um, anyway, that's how I like to do it, and I usually make them all about the same length anyway. So starting with a tiny, I don't know, what is this? What is it? It's almost a half an inch wide, but not quite um, by 11 inch long strip. Works really well. And I just have a variety of papers. Some of them are from the kit. Like I said, just extras that I have. You can see like that pink color. But I've got book page and just some scraps. So... Um, all I'm going to do on this strip of paper is I'm going to lay down some wet white glue and then start layering um, start layering it on there. So this is some book page from that vintage geometry book that I am starting to use up. So um, if you're using washi tape, obviously you don't need the adhesive because then... Um, most of the time I do run, uh, a, I put it on my sewing machine and, and run a strip down. I have not figured out how to video <laughs> me using my sewing machine. So that is not going to happen today. Um, if you tuned in hoping to see me sew, I'm sorry. I just haven't figured out the, um, how to set it up and the camera and all of those things. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to do one where I don't sew it. Later I may sew it depending on if I like how it turns out. Um, and again, I just put down enough glue for a few strips. And then um, I keep going. Now I like a lot of these kind of um, vintage-y colors and papers with, with this kit. Some pinks and blues would be pretty, but I'm trying to use up the scraps that I have. So um, again, you use what you have. I love, I just think it's so fun to see um, it come together just with things that you probably would end up throwing away anyway, because I always end up the little bits and pieces. So sometimes when I make snippet strips, I don't necessarily decorate them or add the extra embellishments. Um, a lot of times I'll just do do a whole bunch and have them on hand. And then if I want to decorate them when I'm getting ready to use them, or I cut off a section to use, then I'll decorate it. 
today we're going to decorate too. Um, if you want, you could ink all of these um, if you want to distress ink. Um, sometimes I do. Again, sometimes I don't. Depends on my mood. Um, and I am trying to make this one look a little more in that um, kind of pastels and shabby chic kind of look and lace and ribbons and things. So we'll see how we do. I think I did pretty good um, on the ones I showed you guys. Um, and Sylvia's papers make it make it easy and fun to work with that. All right, so I'm gonna get one more little piece, maybe this one that has some of the pink on it at the bottom. And again, having it hang over um, gives us that full 12 plus inches on the snippet tape. But that, again, you, you could make little tiny ones. I've done the little bitty ones, and in fact, I had a crafting day with some of my friends not too long ago, and we made some itty bitty little snippet strips to use in our itty bitty little journals we were making, and it was so fun. And um, actually, if we have time here, I'll do a, just a little tiny one to show you what I'm talking about because they are so cute to have on hand. But I definitely want to add one of the girls and, um, got a piece of lace here it's kind of wide so I'm gonna just cut off a little strip for us to use with her be cute and we're gonna just staple her on and I also on this set um, just used some of the um, off cut I don't know if offcut's even the right word, but the margins of the geometry book, little pieces that were left, and I added some sentiments. So this one just says happiness. And we're gonna we're gonna put a touch of glue under here too to help her lay a little more flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the word happiness down. Um, I like her little hat and she does look happy. There was one of the girls, let me find it. And I was looking at the image and I was like, you know, she looks a little sad. This one, this little baby here. But I put for her, you were made for this. So encouraging, encouraging words. <laughs> and in different places, why don't we put one of these um, little tickets on. And again, you could tear these if you don't want to use the whole ticket. You could print them even smaller, you know, if you wanted to show a little tiny um, embellishment. I love having snippets that have um, buttons and circles and all kinds of things on them. So again, you can just kind of keep going and keep going. Let's see if I've got a piece of lace that will look cute or ribbon here. We use a strip. I used some of the chiffon ribbon on one of the other ones, I think just in a different color. It sure is hard to cut. It is so, there, it'll be okay. It is um, so floppy, I guess is the word. I'm going to staple it right here. Uh-oh, I'm out of staples. That always happens, doesn't it? Luckily, I know where they are. It's one of the few things in my craft room. Um, I don't know if I can get this to release. It's one of the few things in my craft room that I make sure I know where I put them. Um, and it's a new box. It's time for more little tiny stapler, staples. So you can use a regular size stapler if you want to. The little one I think just looks cute. Um, if you want to see some of this, the supplies that I use, craft supplies, um, I have my Amazon storefront linked for you in the description, and it is an affiliate link, which means if you end up making a purchase after you click on it, I'll get a few pennies. But I just like to um, share with you guys the things I use. The only thing on there are things that I've actually um, bought and used. So if you want to check it out, you can, but no pressure if you don't want to. All right, and I'm going to put something over that. Maybe one of these, maybe this little girl. We'll just ink her up a little bit. Okay, so you notice on this one, I haven't even stitched or put it on the sewing machine, and it looks great. It's totally fine, just like this, and I like it. 
Um, and if you like the stitched look, you know, you can sew it, but it, it's held together just fine. It's not going anywhere. If you're not going to sew it, I do encourage you, even if you use washi tape, to also use some glue so that it's a little more permanent. But this one's just fine. All right, so let me show you really quick. Um, I wish I had thought about it before I sat down to craft, but I didn't. And we're going to just wing it and go with it. So we did a little teeny tiny, and I'm, I mean teeny tiny um, snippets because we were making um, the little tiny journals that end up being like two by two or something. So you do need a small backing, and I, I don't think this will be too wide, but when I say tiny, I was doing little tiny pieces like this and some of them even smaller. So, um, little itty bitsies. See if we can, and I probably won't do it as long. In fact, this strip was from the other side of the paper, so it's already not as long. But it is amazing how super cute it looks when you get it lined, lined up on here. So, let's see. And I already have an idea of something cute we can, um, I'm going to tear one of these up, um, something cute we can put on it to decorate it. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you guys like using up your scraps? Do you like making snippets? Have you ever made them before? Are you going to now that you've watched my video? Let me know. Inquiring minds, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and as always, if you have some ideas or suggestions of some things you'd like to see me um, do a tutorial on, drop me a comment and I will hopefully be able to add it to my list. I am working on some fun um, pumpkin and fall themed digital papers right now. And I hope to have a new freebie out really soon for you guys. Um, to get us in that season of Thanksgiving, right? And I am thankful for all of you that watch my videos um, and encourage me. It's just such a great community we have. And um, I'm glad that I'm able to share my enjoyment of paper and crafting and glue and all of those things with you guys. So. I wish um, I'm getting ready to do an in-person workshop that I've um, mentioned it on Instagram. I don't know if I've mentioned it here on YouTube, but um, we're going to do a little zine workshop and I'm really excited it's in person. And um, I love, I love that we can connect all over the world, right? And all over the United States, wherever you happen to be. Um, but I am excited to meet a few of you in person here in a few weeks in September and to craft with people in person. So that's exciting and that's coming up. Um, and if you're interested, uh, leave me a message or um, comment or something and I can get you the details. It's in um, Richmond, Virginia. So if that, of course, makes a difference depending on where you live. But if you'd like to know about it, let me know. All right. I am going to cut this one off here because in the spirit of we're making a little teeny meeny, little tin, tiny, look how cute. And then I've got my punch here that um, does all the different shape hearts, but I think this little one will be tiny enough to have like a cute little um, blue heart. Let's see how I did. That paper, I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. That paper stuck in there. Oh yeah, it's cute. So we're gonna put a little heart on here. That. And let me think of what else I wanna put on. Um, we could put a tiny piece, if I can find that piece of lace that I have. I don't wanna cut lace off of these that we've already done and finished. So I think sometimes when you've got those really small, small, small scraps, um, if you want to get down in the nitty gritty with me, you can make one of these little baby ones. 
All right, don't know where it is. We'll look for a different piece of lace or ribbon that might work. Ooh, you know what? This is so um, fine and little. It has like a gold thread running through it. Let's put a piece of this on here. Um, no bite. I was thinking about tying a little bow, but I don't think I cut it long enough. That's going to make me crazy trying to tie it with that little tiny piece. So let's just do it this way. I think a little bow would look cute. And I certainly don't like wasting my supplies, but sometimes tying a bow with a little teeny tiny piece of... Um, ribbon is just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's better to just make your life a little bit easier and cut it off at a reasonable length. Okay, this is vintage. I got this at one of the consignment um, shops. Frosty Rays. Needlepoint, long stitch, or cross stitch. Wow. I don't know. It would be hard to um, thread this through a needle. It is really, it comes apart really easily. All right, I'm gonna trim it off. So cute. Now we could add some more little pieces to it if we wanted to. Um, why don't we punch her out? If I can line her up in my little tiny circle punch. Oh yeah, she's gonna be cute on here. Give her a little bit of ink. And there we go. We're going to put it right there. So I hope you guys found this fun. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And I hope it was helpful if you're new to junk journaling and want to make your own snippet tape. Um, I think making some in the, again, fall colors with some pumpkins and some other things will be super fun too. So I may be doing that soon as well. All right, everybody, until next time, I hope you have a great day and I hope you have fun crafting. Take care.